YouTube, it's me Brandy from Pattison Complete and today I'm going to show you how to make egg roll in a bowl. So I'm going to take you down and show you the ingredients that you'll need for this um, dinner. First you're going to need ground sausage. I just got Jimmy Dean. And you need a bag of dry coleslaw mix. You're going to need um, soy sauce, but I use from Trader Joe's the organic coconut aminos, which tastes just like soy sauce, but half the calories and half the sodium. You need some green onions. I kind of chopped too many, but I'll use these in other recipes. You're going to need five garlic cloves uh, chopped and you're going to need a half a teaspoon of ground ginger and then salt and pepper to taste. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is ground the sausage. So over here, I'll turn on the right one here. I have my handy dandy wok. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up the sausage in the wok, one pan. I don't like messing up a bunch of pans, so. Alright, let me go throw this away and wash my hands. Okay, so you're just going to get this all good and browned up. Once we get it browned up, I think we would probably have to remove it from the pan. No, we just add the dry coleslaw to the mix. This is my second time making it. It's very good and uh, very filling. If you love egg rolls, you'll love this, minus the breading on the outside. And for this, let's see, there is, total carbs is 10 grams, and total fiber is 3 grams, so 7 grams of carbs per bowl. And I want to say it's probably a cup for a serving size because there's, doesn't say how many it serves. But we pretty much got a bunch out of it, so this will be for dinner tonight and for lunches for a couple of days. You can pause it. Okay, while this is browning, I'm going to take you back over to the ingredients and we're going to mix the garlic, soy sauce, and ginger and we're going to set it aside. Okay, so in this bowl, I'm going to add the garlic. And I wash my hands, so I'm going to use my hands. And then the ground ginger. And you just want to mix it till that ginger is all combined. And then um, just set it aside because you'll add this last. Okay. And set it aside. All right. Okay, now that this is brown. We're going to go ahead and grab our coleslaw mix. And our mixture that we mixed up. Now, 
I was gonna put some salt to it, but you know what? This sausage is already salted, so I think I'm not gonna do the salt. But I will add a little bit of pepper. And those are optional. You can leave it out or whatever. It's to your taste. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit and you want to just pour the whole bag because as y'all know, um, cabbage will wilt, but you want to cook it until it's wilted down but still a bit crunchy. You want that crunch. I know the last time we did it, we did it with plain, um, just regular ground pork. So we wanted to try it this time with the actual ground sausage, uh, pork sausage, Jimmy Dean. All right. So now that that's all stirred, we're going to combine this now. And it, if you guys could smell this house, it smells absolutely amazing. I'm not big on Chinese food, but my husband, he loves it. Um, but this is one dish that I do love. It's one of my favorites. One, it's easy. And for those of you that work and you come home, you don't want to stand there and make a long dinner. You want something that's going to be quick and easy. And this is definitely one of those quick and easy meals. All right, I'm going to turn it up just a touch. Get it rocking and rolling here. And you're going to let it cook for about five minutes. And then after five minutes, we will be ready to eat. Okay, guys, so there it is. Egg roll in a bowl. This is a one cup serving. I sprinkled some uh, green onion on it, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, guys, so that is egg roll in a bowl, and we got two servings tonight, plus there's probably about, let's say about four more servings, so it would feed six, six people if you measured out a cup each for everybody. So, um, I will leave down below in the description box the recipe so you guys can follow it. Um, like I said, it's easy, it's a keto friendly meal, and um, it's very delicious. So, you guys have a great day. If you like these type videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're one of the oldies but goodies make sure to hit the bell so it'll let you know when i have new videos out and you guys take care and have a great rest of the week bye